Hi, welcome to HD Reviews and in this video I'll be showing you how to hack a Dettol No Touch automatic sub dispenser so it's refillable. So this hack works with uh, this, this newer version here and also the older version as well because they use, they use the same container. So firstly what you need, you need a 25mm wood drill and also a rubber a rubber grommet. I have the I put some links below of where I bought it from. So you can check those out. Okay, so first thing what we need to do is remove the container from the dispenser. Okay, so what we do, just remove it like so. The best thing to do is like when you get the wooden drill is try to get in the center here. You can try to focus so you can see that and kind of like dig it in a bit. So, when you do use your power drill to drill it, it can actually bite into the plastic a bit better. So, that's that's actually pierced the plastic container. So, just remove that and uh, put this to your power drill. Make sure it's in the center. So what you do just get that in there and drill away. So it goes through the container pretty easily as you can see. If you look at it, it's still a, bit, a little bit unsmooth. You could go around with that with a file to smoothen it out, but I wouldn't bother because the rubber grommet that we have is the exact size over here. So as you see, the rubber grommet is like a little groove to it. So when it does go in, it does fit really snug, as you can see. So now we can use that to um, to refill this container is 20 it's 25 mil oh sorry 215 250 mil which is a lot of soaps is the same size so you can buy any soap and then refill it from the top which is a big difference in price because a refill like this will usually cost around about three pounds where something like this this costs like 75p and this one costs a pound but you can use whatever soap you want to make it a bit as aesthetically pleasing and a little bit nicer you could remove this label as well so I'll just do that so you just spit it's stuck on quite well so just try to stick just remove it oh I did this uh, soap container actually came with this newer one which has come off pretty pretty good because the older version when you rip the sticker off there is a bit of a sticker residue on it oh like this one here the back actually the front one's come off quite easily but whereas this one it's just it's leaving a bit of residue which we can remove easily okay so we'll just get rid of the label And uh, if you get some nail polish remover, and if you use that with some cotton pads, that should take off this residue off pretty easily and give you a nice clean finish. So if we get some, just some plain cotton pads, just put some nail polish remover. Be quite generous with that, that and make your job a bit easier. So you just give it a wipe. It could take a, a few more, a few more passes through it.
so just make sure it's you don't need to worry about putting too much because you know the more you put on that actually the more it helps with remo removing residue so you can see that's coming off nicely The great thing with this hack is that because the rubber grommet just, just fits in qu quite snug, snugly, it's quite easy to refill because I've seen some videos where they've included like a, a screw type contraption on top which makes it a bit more messing about when you refill it. Okay that's great so as you can see all the residues now come off. Uh, the bit that I cut is still inside so what I do now I just give this a quick rinse, take some of this nail polish remover off and also get rid of the plastic bit that, that fell inside before. Just give it a quick rinse and we should be ready to go. So just bear with me with that. Okay. Okay, so just uh, give it a quick rinse. That's nice and clean. You can see, straight off as much as I can. Okay, so that's my new refillable soap container. So what I do, I just hope before I do this. I've seen some other hacks as well where they actually remove. They use a screwdriver and they remove this bit. Uh, and each time that you want to refill it, you have to remove this bit and refill it. But I think in the long term, if you carry on doing that, this will get really loose. And then after a while, you won't be able to to close it and, and, and keep on refilling it because it will get too loose. So when you put soap in it, it, the soap will just leak out. But whereas in this hack, the soap is from the top, so we don't actually touch this. So every time when we refill it, we don't even need to remove this from the dispenser. So we just... Clip that in into the dispenser there. And the great thing with this hack as well, because it is we're using a twenty-five mil drill drill bit, that's the perfect size for most of these soap bottles. The, the bottleneck. So if we refill it, all we need to do is just need to just open like so. And we just pour it in and it actually clicks in. You can actually leave it like that to make sure that every last drop of soap gets into the container. So no soap is wasted at all. So straight, straight away after the first refill, you save yourself quite a lot of money already. So in the long term, you save yourself quite a lot. So, okay, that's refilled. We could actually leave that on a bit longer. As you can see, there's still a tiny little bit of soap left in the container. But for this demonstration, I'll just remove that for now. Right, okay, so that's full. And then you just into the grommet. So that just clips in. As you see, it's very easy to take off and refill. And that's it, done. And there you have yourself a refillable automatic soap dispenser. So I hope this video has become useful. If you like this video, please uh, click the like button. Please subscribe to my uh, channel uh, to get some updates on my videos that I'm uploading. And I hope to see you guys soon. Ciao for now.